Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. I hope you're all doing far more better since our draw yesterday against, uh, you know, Newcastle. I mean, as you see on the thumbnail, Eric Ten Hag out. The reason I'm doing this video for Eric Ten Hag out is because we have started seeing some cracks in terms of not you, the fans, because you fans are behind the, um, Eric Ten Hag. I am personally behind the guy because I know he, he, he knows what he's doing. Somebody who has a good track record, worked with very uh, good managers and also have some results that backs him. Yes, he hasn't been managed in the Premier League, but yeah, that's what we'll be talking about. That I will be talking also about a certain uh, attacker that Manchester United is technically linked to that plays for IS Roma before um, uh, in the coming uh, minutes. As usual, guys, make sure you smash the like on the video. Please share it. And um, if you want to be part of the community, up to you. But that like will help to bring one more Manchester United fan into um, uh, the... The, the channel actually and we'll be doing a giveaway before the world cup we'll be giving one of these you can see the how they look like here on my left they're made with gold and um yeah high quality that's what i mean so the question big question here is is Eric is eric ten hag out of his depth in the sense that is eric ten hag not the right man and for manchester united it is very hard to say that but now but definitely we know we have a manager who has a process and we know how this manager played. There was a, there were some polls online before Manchester United signed Eric Ten Hag about which manager did we want with. Most of the media wanted uh, uh, Pochettino, you guys remember back then. And um, and 80% and of the fans wanted Eric Ten Hag. The, the, the club did the right thing, went for the right manager, someone with a new challenge who has no, at, no attachment with the club and brought him into the club. Bringing some person, someone with such a background means that you need time. I know time is something we have heard from all the managers from uh, that have been here, but with this manager, because he he, he practice a certain brand of football, you need time in order for him to impose his playing style. We have seen some glimpses of the way he wants them to play yesterday. I think we were fantastic against uh, Newcastle by by bringing the ball from the back. If you guys watch the game. You, I, I, it wasn't watched. It wasn't showed in the UK. But if it was the replay, United. This was. It, I can't remember the last time United has been so comfortable bringing the ball from the back and in very tight situation. I think we're good with that. But the biggest problem we've had here in the, is in the way we manage game. Our game management. This has nothing to do with the manager. It has something to do with the way the, the, the It has something to do basically with the kind of players that Manchester United we do have. We don't. We definitely don't have highly technical footballers because if we did have highly technical footballers we would have won that game yesterday it is always a massive issue when manchester united is uh meets a low block so it's manchester united basically is a very easy team to play against the only way you want you one of them the easiest way to win united is just to to be defensive and hit them on the break because our the way we build up our our, our play we are not very 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 quick on our, our, our decision we are not explosive that's the word in the way we go like on yes on counter-attack we have, we have been playing counter-attacking football for some time but if you see the way we build our play we don't have a positive offensive way of play which you, which is evidence every time we jump into a team that tries to be very serious against us we fall in this trap of being uh so lethargic and sometimes we we, we are not just the team that we want us to be in the sense that we cannot just get the ball through the final line so playing as a nine for manchester united is like how oh, i want to give a it's, it's like just being a, a, a night watch somewhere it's like you're a lonely person because honestly a part of the game that we played of recent against omonia we haven't had chances the way we did I've heard some informations online about Cristiano Ronaldo being angry that they're changing Cristiano Ronaldo. As some are saying that I heard from Simon Lucas, actually, an interview he had in one of the um, medias here saying that he thinks Ronaldo is part of the, the problem. Actually, he, he was a problem in the sense that Ronaldo couldn't. I don't, I mean, he said that Ronaldo wasn't very good at um, at uh, coordinating with the team in general. Tell me, guys, I just want to listen from you. Do you think Ronaldo is a problem? This is like the 10th the time I'm asking you guys. We have seen attackers come to Manchester United, right? Played here. We have seen Cavani. We have seen... Um, just of recent, we we had uh, we have seen a lot of players. You got Cavani who was here last year. Who did we have again that has left? We had a, a lot of attackers, honestly, that United cannot even... 
develop. We don't. We, we just lack that playmaker, right? Rashford has tried that attack. He's not good on the ball. Um, um, you have um, uh, Marsha who goes on a plane as a nine. He is, the only advantage he has is that he's good on keeping the ball. We don't have a constructive style and way to feed the attacker. That is the biggest problem that I've noticed. I watched this game again. I watched it again and see that this was an... Honestly, back in LCA, Alex Ferguson, this was an easy game to win. We would have won either on free kick or on a massive counter-attack pressure. Or we would have broken this team in Alex Ferguson day. Because what I realized, I was expecting that uh, Newcastle would be a ball-playing team. But finally, they came to, they came to Old Trafford and they were hyper-defensive. I, I was unbelievable. I, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, in the beginning, they would say maybe they would have won the game. But I will tell you guys that I think um, um, this game, yeah, some would say a, a draw is okay. But I think United had to win this game, not because I'm a United fan, but because we, we in the second half, I think we, we played way better than them. We had enough chances to to win the game. Yes, some some fans came on my on the stream and said no, it is Ten Hag's fault, and I said it, that we did not win the game. I wouldn't say it's Ten Hag's fault we didn't win the game, but I would say Ten Hag made a mistake. That's why I gave him an average six, gave him a, a mistake, taking out Ronaldo. I'm not saying if Ronaldo stayed, he would have won the game. But my position is that we're playing against a full wing hard team, a team that that football is based on physicality, and you're bringing out Nash Rashford as a nine. I think Ten Hag is learning the team. I think Ten Hag doesn't really have his first uh, uh, eleven yet. I, I I really do. I really think Ten Hag doesn't have. I think Ten Hag has five players, six players, and um, and which I think he really trusts the others. He's trying to find a formula and see how it goes. But unfortunately, he's doing that while the season is already very active. The reason why I place this picture, no, this picture here. These are the five records of Ten Hag. I just want to ask you guys, which of these players are you dis you uh, disappointed with? Which of them? All of these players on the right were, were, were signed by Eric Ten Hag. All of these players on the right have imposed themselves in the team. All. You can say Malaysia had some one or two games, but he's a growing. He's a young guy who is growing. But you can see the zeal of him playing, right? So I'm trying to say that Ten Hag is the man for Manchester United, not because he brought this guy, but because he has a process which he believes, and you need to trust the process, as he said. So that's why I, I came out and put the thumbnail and said Ten Hag out in order to tell, make you guys understand that I don't know where all this is coming from. It must surely be coming from the mainstream media. And I think it will be coming more and more. We'll be listening more and more about Ten Hag out as we go through. We have two very tough games. Tottenham is coming here in two days' time in Old Trafford. We have to be. We have to at least get three points in that game. I don't really know how. It's. I. I, I mean, except we we, we. 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 get up. We, we play very unusual. I don't see how United win that game. Honestly, I'm really personally thinking that it's easy for us to win Chelsea away than to win Tottenham inside because sometimes there's a block in your mind. Because why? Because Tottenham doesn't. For us to win Tottenham, which I'm going to do my my. Um, my uh, preview tomorrow in the evening, the same time today, um, tomorrow, I'll do my preview uh, just to tell you guys what I think about the game and my 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 scores. I think that game, I don't want to, uh, let me, let's just leave it for that time. But I think it's going to be a very challenging game for Manchester United. So uh, I just think we are having tough times. I think Ten Hag, the Ten Hag out will, be, will become a reality, but it will not be uh, pushed by the fans. As I say again, it will be pushed by by uh, most of um, the media because you know the in the business of the media they sell a lot through all this intrigue anyway guys we have talked a lot let's just go straight again since i don't want to take a lot of your time let's go straight to another news which has been circulating here that united are in for an attacker that that you know the media yesterday was talking about how ronaldo wasn't good enough he good enough how he has come to the end of his career he is a problem of Manchester United and United needs to go to, to uh, Tony Abrams of uh, AC Milan, which AC of um, AS Roma, sorry, in Italy, which AS Roma will need over 80 million uh, euros for his transfer. I just want to say this. I don't know about Tony Abraham coming and shining for Manchester United. Tony Abraham is another nine that needs to be fed in, right? Talking about nines who, who need to be fed in order to be productive. Holland, right? Holland, uh, Holland, the place for City. If you have known Pep Guardiola, Pep Guardiola always played tic-tac. Um, tic he did it even last year without Holland. They played the whole season without a nine. 
they played with the false nine and they won the league. I'm trying to tell you that. But this year, I was I was City. I watched the game yesterday against Liverpool. Very close. It was the game against us. City are swapping crosses into the center of the box because they have a typical nine. I have had this argument with a lot of journalists who say they are they are specialists in football. That if Manch if well, that if Cristiano Ronaldo was playing for City, he would have been in the top three high school scorers now. Why? Because City create these chances. United, we have a big problem. There's something that I've just I had a text about it of, uh, ago. Uh, Onjo just told me. I mean, one of our uh, our members in this, in, this, in this channel told me that um, that uh, Bruno Fernandez isn't doing well. He, what, what's, what's up with Bruno? And my my answer was yes, and I do agree that Bruno isn't really isn't doing well. Bruno Fernandez is becoming a liability for Manchester United. Honestly, I don't know if you guys have noticed that because personally, I think Bruno has become a liability for Manchester United in the way he plays. Yeah, I'm trying to stop that. So in the way he plays, he's becoming clearly a liability for Manchester United. So I think Bruno Fernandes, because he, when he came, he was a playmaker. And we really know he was, uh, we, we were counting on Bruno for, the, for, um, for him to be the player that is going to generate actually the, the, the bill of play for Manchester United and also a lot of um, a lot a, a, a lot of ball control and many will even say Bruno Fernandes had that leadership for doing that but for the past days Bruno Fernandes has been lethargic has been very un, unproductive he has been technically for me the problem he runs you cannot press do a press in group pressing are done in general right in the group you cannot one one player cannot go and start pressing so this is an issue guys i just wanted to tell them uh, this video just to tell you guys that i think that you the fans if you are real fans and you watch till now that you should not fall into that trap what the media are trying to talk about ten Hag out because ten Hag will not go anywhere ten Hag will build the manager personally I, I mean, I'm someone with a football background. I know what I'm talking. Honestly, guys, I know what I'm talking. I'm not a magician. But I will start being hard on Ten Hag next year, not this year. He has done a lot for the short time uh, that he has been in Manchester United. And that is a fact. So, guys, short video. Thanks again for watching. Tomorrow, I'll give my preview. First 11 against um, uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Invite all of you for a watch along. And before we go... We're doing a giveaway. I don't know if you like this, you admire this. In all my videos, I do wear them. We're giving one of these to you guys before the World Cup. So if you want to be our last game, live game here, we will be... Um, we will, our, live, our last game here, we'll be doing a, a, a giveaway here. So all you need to do is just be a subscriber, be part of the community. And guys, please share this video with all fans so we can build up a good fan community. With that all said, guys, great show. Love you all and uh, glory, glory, Manchester United. That's something that we, we say very rarely this day because we haven't won something for a long time. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.